Hey there. So we're going to try and show you here real quickly how to change the settings on your monitor. Uh, I've set up my monitor and a spare, uh, my laptop and a spare one right here with what I'm guessing you've got right now. You've got all your icons over here and your start button over You know, I hide mine, but your start button's there. And I guess all this part of your screen is, is broken, so what you do is grab something and pull it over here every time. Well, you know, that's... That's getting to be a bit old, isn't it? So let's fix that. Quick way of doing it, if your computer's like mine, is you right click. So use the right mouse button so you get that little pop-up menu anywhere on your background. So not on an icon, not on a button, just anywhere you can see on your screen, which it doesn't have anything on. So this one's right here. The one of the options here on mine is graphics options. If you pick graphic options, there's another sub option which is output too. And I'm guessing if you look at that, you'll see something like mine here where extended desktop is, is checked. Extended desktop means take two monitors and make pretend that they're one big one. So everything goes across the two of them. If you choose monitor, the laptop will go off and just the monitor will come on and all of your icons are now on the monitor here. Your start button's over here. Everything's here that doesn't exist. You don't have to drag anything across. You don't have to do anything like that. This one's completely turned off. Um, that's probably the setting you want. Um, there are other settings that do things like clone. I can show you that. If you do graphics options, output to clone, you can pick whichever one's primary, notebook and monitor, or a monitor and notebook. And this does a similar kind of thing, except now you get two. It should be exactly the same. But since this one doesn't work for you, I would just say output to monitor. And then everything you do should start up here. So if we go ahead and start something, um, and a Windows update, I'll just start that as something quick. You'll see that it's not launching over here on the laptop because that screen's been turned off. It's all happening right here. So. If we're, with a bit of luck, that sticking that um, setting will stick. You won't have to do anything. If you turn the computer off and on again, it will remember it. But if you ever turn it on and the monitor's not plugged in, it will forget that and go back to the old way of doing it. If that ever happens, you just do the same thing again. Find a clear bit of the desktop, right click, graphic options and output to, and you just pick whichever one. And you can play with these settings. All right. So if you're not sure that which one's the right one, you play with it. You won't break anything. It'll come back eventually. Um, if for any reason you don't have these same options, because you your system might not be exactly the same as mine, I know when we talked before, you definitely have this one, Graphics Properties, where it does this. Same thing, you can choose either a single display just to show it on the notebook, which is your laptop, right? Or you can just do the monitor like we're doing here. Um, you just say, okay, what well you do, if you change any of this, the best thing to do is apply, because whenever you change it, it takes effect and it gives you a pop-up which asks you to say OK or cancel. So if you ever do anything, the screen just goes black and you can't see what's going on, just keep your hands off the keyboard and after 15 seconds, the system will go back to the way it was before, like it's doing now. So you get a chance to back out if you didn't do something right. Um, if for any reason the screen doesn't look right, like it looks too, too stretched out or too, too shrunken in, just change the resolution here. Your monitor is probably uh, got a number of options like 10, 24, 7, 6, 8, or whatever. And you pick the one that looks right to your eyes, right? You just change it and do apply, and it will resize. And again, if this is ugly and you don't like it, just do cancel. Or if you get a black screen because your monitor can't support what it's trying to do, just wait. And after 15 seconds, if you don't do anything, it goes back to the way it was. So you, this way, you can always keep trying things, and if it doesn't work out, it always goes back to the way it was, just like that. Okay? Hope that helps. Um, you can't break anything by playing around. Um, the only thing that worse that happens is you get a black screen because you can't see anything. But if you're doing it this way, more often than not, it'll recover for you, okay? Like I said, I, it should remember this going forward. Um, if it does forget, just right click and do the same thing again when you turn it on. But uh, hopefully this helps you out. I'll put this on the web for you. And uh, hopefully we'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, love you. Talk to you later. Bye.